Hello, welcome to episode 49 of Franny Do Makes. My name is Fran. I am joining you today from a fairly bright Leeds in the north of England in West Yorkshire. This is my channel where I talk about everything that I've been making and creating over the last two weeks. So be it knitting, crocheting, sewing, cross stitch, crafting in general, some spinning sometimes. Um, so if that is your kind of thing, then please grab a nice cuppa grab a project and let's have a sit in a chat okay so today is Monday the 18th of March um, I've got quite a lot to show you I have one two three four four finished objects four finished objects I've only got one work in progress but obviously we've got some plans because we can't just have one can we I've got some goodies that I bought from East Anglia Yarn Festival when we went and that's everything I think. Yes. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, um, if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet, um, we'll go this way, um, you can find me online as at Franny Do Makes on most places. So I'm on Ravelry and Instagram and TikTok and threads but I don't really go on there and there is a Facebook page which is Franny Do page and any information that you want about the patterns or if you want a link to anything be it patterns or bags or yarn or anything like that then they're all found on the website which is www.frannydo.co.uk um yeah right then I guess let's get going with finished objects so the first one that I have finished um was this the first one i can't remember what order they come in but first up we have a pair of socks these are just some cuff down vanilla socks for my sister so she'll be happy that now i'm recording so that she can have them because her puppy ate a pair of hers well i don't know if they're destroyed but they certainly have been chewed So these are knit in some commercial yarn, which is James Seabrett Funny Feats with a Z. I hate that. Um, oh gosh, what was the colourway? F Z B. Oh, I can't remember. The t it's a number. Anyway, this is what it is. Um, it was quite hard to find, they're not, they don't match, it was quite hard to find the um, sequence so you can see it goes from, um, this is the colour repeats, so it's quite a long one all the way down from this pink to this thin stripe here, so it's thin stripes and then thick stripes. Um, so I thought I was at the same place because I had purple but obviously they're not, they don't match. But I, I couldn't be bothered winding it all off. I'd wound them both into two 50 gram balls so that I could do two at a time. But then I figured out that I couldn't really do that because I couldn't figure out whatever it was anyway. And I did a heel flap and gusset. So I just did them one at a time. Um, but then it uh, 64 stitches on a 2.5 millimeter. They've got quite a lot of stretch in them. This is the yarn. Did I say that it has bamboo in it? So it's a, a woolen bamboo. Um, yeah they're quite nice it feels quite nice i will say that the color did um it did have a lot of color on when i washed them the the water was very pink so be careful if you're washing them with something else um so i will remind my sister of that so yeah heel flap and gusset which to be honest i winged a bit so i'm not sure if they're both the same but you know can get your feet in them I'm sure. Cuff down, two by two rib, rounded toe. Well not a rounded toe but um, just normal decreases and then I do every other row decreases until there's about 16 stitches and then I do every row so it just rounds off that edge a little bit. Then grafted, yeah. 
They're the same height at least. <laughs> they're definitely sisters, aren't they? You know they're the same from the same pair. There we go. So that's the first finished object and that's my lucky dip um, yarn for March. So every month I'm picking out a lucky dip of sock yarn, whether it's commercial or just a skein that's been sitting in my stash for a while and I'm knitting them up one, one pair a month. So I'm ahead on those. There we go, so they're done. Oh, I need a sip. Okay, next finished object. Oh, we should do what's on the wall. Because I've not done that. What's on the wall is um, a granny, crochet granny triangle um, wrap that lots of people are doing at the moment. Um, and it was using my Giddy Yarns advent from last year. 2023 which was a fade which is gorgeous and this was the 25th day 25 color at the bottom um it was a 10 gram advent with a 100 gram skein at the end so that's how big you can get it it's a really big wrap i wear it more as a around my shoulders on the sofa when i'm chilly um but yeah it's very nice and very soft I did it on a four millimeter hook, which I think I could have done it on a 3.5, but that's what I did it on. There we go. Um, what was I going to say? Next finished object. Okay. This is my other advent project. So this has been on the, but this is finished now. So this is a Speltus wrap. It's very long. And it is using the Siobhan's Craft Advent for 2023. It's very bright and it's going to blow out, but there you go. Yeah, it's much, it's much brighter than it's showing on the thing. It's more of a luminescent. There we go. So this is, um, I'll put it on for you, just garter stitch, sort of, you knit it in like wedges. Um, and I did the option where I put a buttonhole on one side, uh, because I bought a button so that I can um, button it together and have like an infinity cowl, infinity scarf. Um, Again, this was a 10 gram advent um, and I did have some leftovers, which you will see a bit later. So it used about seven grams of each color, um, some more than others. So I think this first one has less. These first two um, have less on them, I think, than these other ones. Um, but it's just garter stitch, easy to follow. It's turned out lovely and drapey. Um, the example that's on the pattern is, it looks almost like it's DK. She did say you could not block it and it would be more snuggly, but it felt a bit small, just done in, oh, have I missed her? Ooh. I've got like a, only caught a bit of the stitch there. go back now it's all done uh, but yeah it's I love it it's got such it's such a bright sunny colorful thing and it looks really nice I've been wanting to make something like this for a while there was a different pattern uh, but then it had, it had gone off you couldn't um, you couldn't buy it anymore or find it anymore which was for the 20 gram version um so it was a wider a wider thing and i really liked the the way that they work together and interspersed with each other um but yeah it's turned out so nice there we go 
I don't know what else to say about it. Oh, uh, it was a pattern by Samantha Troyer, the Speltas wrap. And um, it's available on Ravelry, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's turned out lovely. And the yarn is beautiful, all those colours. It was nice to have one that was all different. In a way, the colours do go together. So there's green with green, blue, blue, purple at the end there. But there's these um, rainbow bits sort of mixed into them. Yeah, it looks really nice. It'd be a great thing to do with leftovers. You know, just having seven grams of each, of each colour. I mean, you could... You could easily add more, make it bigger by just adding more, adding more stitches. So, yeah, that is a soft, it's lovely and drapey. There we go. So that's done. I'm just waiting for a button to arrive so that I can sew that on and use it. It's an easy pattern to follow. It's like for each section, there's separate instructions, and then after that, you just sort of duplicate. The pattern is for 25 colours and obviously I only had 24. So um, for the last one, which was the instructions for where the buttonhole went, I had to like reverse it. But I managed it. Um, anything else I need to tell you about that? No, I can't remember the needle size. I don't know where all my project cards are. They're probably in the bags downstairs. Right, but that's that. Okay. Next up, I have done my squares with my green lambkin. Is that the right ones? Yes. So I am doing the Huggy? Huggy? Huggy Burst? I don't know how you say it. Um, blanket which is these squares so I've got two squares in each colour so this is the first one and then there's this one this one which I really love with these pops and this is the last one. So yeah, we've got two sets of those. And I need to weave in the ends. So that's the next lot of those finished. That's a pattern by, gosh, I'm really bad at this. I've not prepped myself, I've had today. Let me get it up on my ravel gray. Huggerburst blanket. Uh, the pattern is uh, Aran weight, but I'm just doing it in DK using a 4.5 millimeter uh, hook. And it is by Mallory Crawl, who is Naughty, Naughty Crawl Crochet. That one. There we go. Obviously, hers are done in all different colours, but I've just chosen to do it in a single colour, and then there'll be a um, something to join them with, whether it's probably a cream or a white or a light colour. I haven't decided yet, but that'll get all put together at the end of the year. Um, but yes, they're ever so quick to do. I think I can get one done in like 10 minutes. I think I timed it, it was about 13 minutes that it took me to do a, a square, so they take no time at all. And because it's such lovely yarn with sparkles in, so yeah, that's the Green Lambkin Yarns uh, treasure Secret Treasure Box Mini Club. There you go. Okay, next up is another crochet project. 
gone a bit crochet mad this this time so if you've been watching my um, daily fundraiser videos the short form videos you will have seen this um, this is a new cast on and cast off so it's been all done in one day well not in one day it took me about three three days um, this is a moonlit shawl by Sandra Paul from Cherry Heart Designs if you've watched Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful she had made one also which made me think I want one of those um, so this is using some lovely yarn which is from Noodle Soup Yarns this is um, it's called Rise of the Jellyfish I don't think it's on the shop it's not on the shop at the moment um, I got it in like a I don't know if I bought it as the colourway or if I bought it as like a mystery a mystery one but it's sparkly and it's beautiful it's so pretty the colours the only thing was it's supposed to be a one a one skein shawl and I did check my tension and it was the same as the pattern but I think that this yarn is maybe a bit thicker but my tension was right I don't know anyway um, but I ran out of yarn so I had to add this pink pop to the bottom just for the last two rows of the pattern but I don't mind I think it looks very nice it goes with it anyway um, so yeah it's a really nice quick crochet like I'd done the first the, you make the middle part this main let me take it off the pattern works that you do this main body of the shawl in one and then you pick up on the bottom and do this lacy bit on the bottom um, but this main bit it took me like no time to do at all so I think my sister might be pinching this one and so I might need to make another one for myself which I can't decide on the colour so I'm either going to do it in this which is a green lambkin yarn this is a Christmas one, it's vintage shinies, but I don't think it looks overly Christmassy. That one. Oh, Blue Lagoon. Which is by Truly Hooked. Oh, this. Lockwood fibres, lovely speckles. And this one's called Lemony. Let's play down. Yeah, so it'd be one of those. I can't decide. because it's sparkly but yeah this one goes nice with my glasses I'll see I might um, do both of them and then my sister can decide which one she likes <laughs> okay so that's that but I would highly recommend it it's a lovely pattern it's really really simple easy to follow and it just looks so pretty and a perfect perfect one I would say one skein it could just be me Ali got hers out of one it might be my it might be my gauge um, but I quite like the little contrast on the end there we go and my last finished object is something for mini this is t this has taken me two days it's been such a fun project so again this one you will have seen if you're watching the daily videos but I hadn't cast it on last time 
So this is just another version of this using the leftovers from this. <laughs> so um, Minnie liked that so much and I was like, well, you can't have it because it's too big and, you know. But I says, I've got some leftovers. Would you like something? And I says, oh, which thing would you like? So I got a few different um, things out. I was going to make a, like, a infinity, like a, what's it called? A litmus cowl. Um, but I think, don't know, necklace has spun round. I think um, that would have been a bit warm. Anyway, she said she liked this, so she wanted a version of this. So she has got her own little version. It's got tassels on. Using the leftovers from the Siobhan's Crafts. So it's just a little version. It needs a block, so it's still a bit chunky, but it's so much fun. Um, some There's some parts of it that are not the Siobhan's Crafts. Like I said, I only had three grams, so by the end of it, there was not even a full... Um, you couldn't go all the way around, it was only halfway. So there's some little extra bits that are just some leftovers. And she wanted tassels on. Um... There we go. So yeah, this bit is not was not from there. This greeny bit in the middle and this blue was not. Or was it? No, that wasn't. Um, and these last few were not from the advent. But it's all the colours. Lots of speckles and rainbows and yeah. So I just need to wash it just so it has a bit more. It'll be nice and drapey and soft like that one is because it could do with a little bit more just to drop a little bit and to get this hump out there's a bit of a hump in that middle bit so yeah she loves it she's very impressed 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 with it and she'll happily be wearing that maybe not for school but yeah she's very happy with it and literally it took me two days it took me the weekend to do it but I did just work on that pretty much non-stop okay works in progress I just have the one whip obviously because I finished all of those so the one thing that I have on my needles is living in this lovely bag by lovely Jackie from Soft Ag Accents and it is my All About That Brio shawl which is a pattern by Lisa Lisa Hannes Maliha Designs All About That Brioche so this is using some yarn from Mamie and Flory. This is their merino bamboo. So it's 80% merino, 20% bamboo. And I'm currently on the... So I showed you it last time and I was down there. So I've got up to there. So it's like a, a bias sort of triangular shape like a curved triangle um, and it's meant it's all this one colour and then you do two colour brioche um, for two bits and then you finish off with the other contrast colour so the contrast colour is this pink which is again the same yarn but just a different colour so the minty green colour is called Atticus Boo Buxton and this one is Oklahoma this pink Oklahoma Manchester so the yarns are named and inspired by places in the in the world I suppose not just in the UK um, so I think I've got but the knit till there's 150 stitches and I'm like 130 so I've got a few more rows to do 
but it's only a six row repeat and I think I told you last time every time I start I do the first row I move this marker up so that I know for three garter ridges that that's what I need to do because the first um, row in the repeat has something different on it so I know that that's the one I need to do different and the others it's either a right side row or a wrong side row so it's dead easy to follow just that helps you know not have to count otherwise it's just gata 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 and you get a bit lost so yeah I'm excited to see um, to start the brioche section and the yarn is so lovely to work with it's so soft and squidgy and it's going to be lovely it is a little bit slippy I'll say that for it, it is a little bit slippy on the metal needles it does slide about a bit sometimes um, but it's lovely to work with really nice everything I've done some spinning but it's still on the wheel at the moment so this is some um, fiber from world of wool it is oh, let me get the thing out that's a bit still in the bag so this is it doesn't tell me what the makeup is of the I don't know what fibre it is to be honest I can't remember what I ordered but the colourway is heavenly so it's these purples and it's spinning up like this I inadvertently didn't change the spin direction from when I applied last so this is spun in a Z direction <laughs> and I'm gonna have to apply it on an S oh, I don't suppose it matters I'll see what difference it makes I did hear or read somewhere that you generally do it Z for crocheting or an S for knitting I don't know but that's that um, but I'm enjoying it, it's a nice fibre, it's nice um, nice and bright but I'm thinking I can use it as my contrast if this is going to be my emotional support chicken and this other on this other um, that I did then that can be the contrast because it does have some purple in it so then I'll be able to use it both there we go okay what time are we on? half an hour, okay so the last thing I've got is my um, goodies from East Anglia Yarn Festival so that was last weekend tw the 8th, 9th, 9th have a look yeah the 9th of March and it was lovely I didn't really I did the, the daily video so I did have some footage from it but um, I didn't I didn't do a vlog from it um, I just didn't I don't know why I always feel a little bit uncomfortable taking footage when there's all those people there I don't know whether that'll change or I don't know I just always feel a little bit uncomfortable doing it but there's plenty of other vlogs out there um, Belinda from Bell and Stitch has a lovely vlog of her day there um, I've not watched it yet but I know Ali's from Little Drops of Wonderful will be amazing um, and Ellie has a video from it as well from Craft House Magic so there's lots of different vlogs and uh, Martin I've not watched his yet but Martin was helping vend there and also um, set up the um, podcast and meet up and Sophia for Spring Snowflake she has done one as well these have only just come out so I've not watched them but I'm sure they're all perfect and we'll show you all of what went on at the show but it was a lovely show I really enjoyed it there were some fantastic vendors it was a lovely space there was lots of room and yeah it's my favorite show I would say and I went down with my friend Becky we had a nice um, meal with our friend who lives down there and had a meet up with her and we stayed over and then came back the next day which was much easier than last year where I went down 
and back in one day because it is like a three and a half hour journey <sighs> but I did get some goodies so I will show you those so first of all I got this bag which has a big sheep on it which I might use with my next project so yeah it's a big sheep this is from Jibby Russo's um, so they had lots lots and lots of bags um, so yeah I got that one and I bought another bag from the Woolly Tangle focus it doesn't want to I'll put it on the screen the woolly tangle.co.uk and that was this one with lovely pandas and this lovely mystery bear um i've been to a few um shows where this person has been vending and this is a this bag or a bag with this fabric has always been there and i've always gone oh i want that bag and then i've gone back and it's already been sold so as soon as i saw it this time i purchased it first and it's already been in use so that's that and then oh I got some little bits and pieces let me have a look so I bought some stitch markers from flame knits so on my um, all about that brioche I have a little um, ice cream and they are handmade lamp work glass beads individually shaped and decorated in the flame before being kiln annealed for strength i mean the workmanship is amazing so i got a lovely little mushroom there and a witch's cauldron look it's got a hubble bubble tile and trouble thing going on in there cauldron so they're both from flame knits can you see there at the top ah, it's not focusing on the lettering but i will put their i'll put their details down here um then i went to treble maker designs and got some more little stitch markers they had a lucky dip so you could get six hello you could get six for so much so me and my friend buddied up and got six um i got a little pink axolotl but minnie has that downstairs because she has a little pet axolotl which is the same kind of little charm but it doesn't have a, a stitch marker thing on that she got for christmas which is in a little box a little blue one so they're like little friends but i also got a little um, like a pastry or a, a dumpling and I can't see it and an avocado there we go oh, those two and then I got some yarn obviously I got some yarn so I bought from again from Mimi and Flory some boucle with all these lovely colours in. This one is called The Echo of Picasso in Malaga. This is Merino Boucle. And I'm going to hold this, um, put this together with this yellow fluff and make a cloudy Nora shawl, which is And it works up in this kind of texture so you've got the boucle and the see-throughness of the fluff it's normally done with a uh, merino i think but i've got this and i think that will work there's yellow in it it's a different type of yellow but i'm sure it'd be fine if not i've got some 
got some blue as well but I think the yellow would be a nicer pop so I'm going to do that at some point and I also bought this from Cool Woolings it's a very pinky orange it's probably blowing out this is called Flamingo Mango and from the wool kitchen I got two skeins of this lovely colour which does have like the orangey in it so I might um, put these together in something I was thinking maybe a pin pom shawl but I might make another jumper like my cozy classic light that I had last time this one's called amethyst rainbow aurora I think this is one of their clubs this might be the January club this is um, 7525 merino sock 425 meters to 100 gram. This one is Merino Nylon 8515. Mm, nice. Um, 400 meters. So I think they'd look nice together. I mean, totally ostentatious and um, out there, but there you go. Oh, another thing that arrived that was not from East Anglia Yarn Festival was um, my new crochet hook. So this is from Pedro's Plaques and it's an octopus. So pretty. Here we go. So that's nice to use for my projects. <sighs> oh right okay just bear with me I'll be back in a minute okay so um, next up is this lovely birthday giveaway so it was my birthday on the 12th of March I had a lovely time thank you everyone for your lovely comments um, we had a nice day out me and my sister and went to the Ivy Asia for a lovely lunch we bought some nice books from the bookshop and yeah had a lovely time but lovely Jackie did send us this lovely beautiful for I project bag with a little extra little notions pouch inside as a giveaway for the podcast so thank you very much Jackie it's so so welcome and I'm so happy that you sent us this and grateful so the winner of that um so what I asked you to do was to add a comment on the podcast last week to say happy birthday and then I would pick out a winner so the winner is brrr, Denise Long JC 5 UW <laughs> I'll put the thing here um, and you said happy birthday Fran I love your sweater enjoy EAYF thanks for another great podcast so thank you Denise for your lovely comment and if you can send me your details please so send me a message either on Instagram or Ravelry or via the email that is down in the description box down below um, and I will be able to get this sent out to you look at you there we go I think that is everything yes it is oh the only other thing is plans for next so i want to cast on another jumper and i'd put it on instagram with um either the whitmore or the forest land sweater and a vote and people voted for the whitmore so this is a pattern from amy loudon 
and I am going to use this drops cotton merino DK which is colorway I think it's red I don't think it has a fancy name but this is going to be like a Christmas time jumper but I thought with a bit of cotton in it won't be too warm because I get quite hot in the summer so it's quite a light light a light DK I think it's a DK weight young young group B it is 50 grams 105, uh, 110 meters so yeah it's a DK away so I've got 10 balls of that in there and I will be doing my swatch I mean the the pattern has a fluff held with it but it's like sorry it's fingering weight with fluff but I'm not doing that okay so that's that and possibly I might cast this on no I won't I think I'm gonna do a pair of socks I might either do a pair for Mr B or for Minnie using some self striping that's up in the box there oh, I feel like I've been going for ages 46 minutes right okay that'll do um yes thank you very much for watching thanks for all your comments thanks for all the donations as well for the fundraiser if you would like to donate any funds for the fundraiser which is in memory of my dad Gordon who passed away in August from motor neuron disease it's a fundraiser for the motor neuron disease association um, which helped towards uh, all sorts of, like research for the condition and um, they do a helpline for people uh, they obviously do care care for the patients care for the families care for the carers um lots and lots of support so if you would like to donate the link will be down in the bio and also on my instagram and everywhere you can find it i think it's in the link as well at the top you know where the links are in the top of the page of my home page of my web of the of the youtube and it's on the website it's everywhere you can find me basically so yeah i would be very grateful if you could donate to that um we're currently sat at 740 pounds so i'm going to keep going until the end of the month it would be fantastic to break a thousand i'd be utterly made up so yep oh, thank you again for being here thank you for joining me thank you for coming if you are new um please stay if you are please subscribe if you've not already like the video if you've liked it give me a thumbs up click the bell then you'll be notified and all that kind of jazz um, but yeah thank you for joining me as I always say please do take care of yourselves and each other have a lovely two weeks and I'll see you when I'm next on two weeks time okay bye